What's up? This is a pick a pile. What are you inviting in, okay? What are you being asked to establish for your new cycle? We have the new energetic year starting very soon, and we have a new moon in Pisces today. So pick a pile if you're attracted to one stone. You can pick that, or you can say 111, 222, 333. If you're watching on YouTube, the timestamps will be below. On Instagram, you can just click and scroll until I hold your stone. The first one is green quartz, okay? Green quartz. Second one, I think you say it, aragonite, aragonite, I don't know, aragonite. And the third stone is selenite, okay? So, pick one now. I'm going to start with pile one. All right, pile number one, what are you inviting in? Oh, I feel like we're letting go or maybe changing um, jobs, something like that. Uh, we've got six of wands, so I feel like, okay, I've accomplished something. Maybe it's the people you've been surrounding yourself with or an agreement or something that you were really proud of up until now, but now you're second, sorry, second guessing it. You're like, Ugh, do I wanna continue doing this? Do I wanna continue to, um, invest my time, energy, money into this cycle, these old things, these old situations or people because it feels like a little bit of a defeat. I feel like we're letting go of um, things that we've accomplished that felt good before, but now it's like, ugh, I don't really want them. I wanna let them go and clear them out. Your second card, yeah, you're being invited in. <sighs> you're being asked to invite in new um, experiences, new travel, or like things that excite you. This is fire energy. These are both fire because they're wands. So I've got the page of wands and the six of wands reversed. It's like, I don't care what I achieved. I don't care what I had before. Now I don't want it. Now I want something different. It's like I need to cook new foods. I need to taste new experiences. I wanna meet new people. I don't wanna continue doing what I've been doing over these years or maybe the past couple months or weeks or whatever. But, um, oh, and the Queen of Wands. What? I feel like you're being asked to just like let go of support groups or people you thought supported you but now you recognize they don't really support you. Um, maybe businesses you thought that you could rely on that you really you can't rely on. Um, people who don't show up, people who don't arrive on time, people who don't wanna commit to doing the work or um, supporting you how you need to be supported. Now, it looks like you've gained all of this experience. You've found success. I believe that. I think you've already found success, but now you're willing to let it go and to invite in new experiences, new people, new travel, new studies. Maybe some of you want to pick up a new language. Um, you want to travel to new locations. Your final card here we have is you're very close to achieving your goal. You're very close to achieving your goal. So I feel like you've already started wrapping up things. You've already started letting go of some of these people. And now in Pisces season, Pisces is connected to the 12th house, which means what? It's the last house before Aries season, the spring equinox. So now we're in the final um, stage of the winter season. So it really makes sense that you're already letting go of people, places, things, projects that don't benefit you, um, things that you don't really see a vision with. It's like you have all of these connections or agreements with some people or some company or something. And you're like, okay, I see a vision here. I see a future, but now I feel like you just don't. Now I feel like you're, it's like dried up. It's like the cup has just gone dry and you're just like, Ugh, I don't like just toss the cup away. I don't care. I'm also feeling like you're not interested in collaborating or working with people who are so stubborn or so lazy. Like I'm sick of lazy people, people who say they'll do something, but they never do it or they can't follow up or they can't actually achieve the goal. And like you've been maybe relying on other people to do a lot of work, a lot of support or something. And now you're noticing like, I put all of my eggs in this one basket and like the <sighs> bitch, the chickens never hatched. So like, <clears throat> oh wow. <coughs> 
throat chakra. Wow. Woo. I feel like you've been wanting to tell um, someone to fuck off for a while, or you've just been feeling these emotions, feeling these frustrations, feeling this anger for a while, and now it's finally come up and out. And with that, it's like, oh, I can breathe again. I'm also hearing that like, this is like past lifetime. So some of you are letting go paying off karmic debts. You're letting go of karmic relationships. You're letting go of karmic issues that have continually come up through many lifetimes because that's connected to the throat chakra. So like, you're really close to clearing out all of these toxic relationships, all of these toxic people. Um, we have that new moon in Pisces today. Go click on the link in my bio, take the workshop, establish some new goals, establish some new boundaries and get ready for this next major cycle. Okay. I love you. I will see you soon. Pile number one, done. Pile number two, pile number two, number two, number two. All right. What are you bringing in? Wow. New relationships, new agreements, new um, love. Some of you have been struggling with partners. Some of you have been struggling with a Virgo or a Gemini. Some of you, whoo, you're being asked to invite in surrender. You're being asked to just invite in more surrender, more trust. I feel like there's something here where you don't want to fight anymore. You don't want to explain yourself. You don't want to continue to have to defend yourself. It's like now I think you want to invite in more opportunities for flow, more opportunities for just success and achievement. I feel like some of you have been maybe feeling completely exhausted or just defeated. Um, some of you for sure stayed from pile number one and you're still watching, or if you are watching this now, pile number two, maybe you want to go back and watch number one because it seems like they're a little bit connected here, but it's like a lot of people have been feeling like they're stuck or they don't have the opportunity or the resources or, um, the knowledge to leave a situation. But now under this Pisces new moon, I think you're being asked to establish new boundaries, rules, and structures, and figure out how you can invite in more flow and trust that you will be guided to where you need to go for sure. Oh my God, yeah. Step out of your comfort zone. You have the North Node. It says, step out of your comfort zone, okay? So like, if you think about the North Node right now, it's in Gemini. That means it's a lot of communication, new ideas, conversations. You want to get out and explore. This is also that Gemini energy. So some of you for sure clearing out a Gemini. I'm also hearing letter L. Um, number seven's here too. I always see seven. I'm getting an eight now. Um, okay, so <sighs> pile number two. You need to invite in release. You need to invite in like no limitations. You need to invite in people, jobs that you don't need to stand up and prove yourself. You don't need to explain everything to these people because they already know who you are. They already see your value. They already see your vibe. And like, I feel like you're just exhausted and you've been struggling with trying to um, maybe connect with other people who don't really connect with you because they don't really understand you because you're vibrating at a higher level and they're maybe falling behind or there's just something here about you feeling like isolated and of course we're all like in quarantine, I get that. But I just mean like you can be with people but still feel lonely, you know what I mean? And this looks like this feeling of just loneliness and like wanting to get out and meet new people and wanting to communicate and chat with new people, new ideas, new contracts because whoever you've been with up until now is just, it's really draining. It's really, oh, I like, I feel like it's like, get it off, get it off, eh, eh, like, I don't want to continue to need to adjust myself for you. I feel I'm just done with it. I don't want to continue to have to adjust my goals or adjust my behavior or adjust my comfort so you can feel more comfortable. And then when I finally do something good, 
you hate me for it or you get angry for it or you get jealous. Like there's a lot of jealousy here. So I feel like you're being asked to invite in more loving, more deep, intimate connections with people who are understanding of your goals. They're on your level. They're, um, they're not jealous people. Like, I don't know how to say that, but like, or how else to say that. You've been struggling with some jealous people, people who don't have their shit together. And because of that, you just feel like, why do you try to blame me when I'm not the one to blame? It's not my fault that you're insecure. It's not my fault that you're a jealous bitch. You know what I mean? It's like, go on. Like, oh, good Lord. Go, go, go find yourself, babe. So. Anyways, we've got that new moon in Pisces. Click on the link in my bio. Go take the at-home video workshop. It's pay what you can. You have no excuse. And uh, yeah, replace these old toxic connections. <laughs> Jeez. We've got pile number three, selenite. Pile number three. Okay, first card. Whoo. Why are these all so heavy? It's because we're in Pisces season and it's more about release than in, um, inviting in new things, but you're really being asked to invite in new perspective. Invite in new, it's like you want to see the truth. You want to see a new truth. You don't want to continue to be dragged down by these old relationships, by these old ideas of who you used to be or who you thought you Oh, I have to become this kind of person. It's like, now we're letting it go and we want to establish new identities. You've got the star here. You've got the six of cups reverse and you've got the page of cups. It's like, the overall energy here is like, I want to invite in people who I can trust. I want to invite in um, contracts that I agree with, people that I support, people who support me because it looks like up until now, the equal give and take has not been there. It's not balanced. Um, there's also, again, this jealous thing. Some of you have been watching all three piles, for sure. And there's an M coming through. It's time to take action. It's time to take action. Meaning, you gotta get up. You gotta say no to the people who you don't wanna be involved with. You need to say no. Maybe you need to invite in more confidence with yourself. Maybe you need to invite in more balls so you can say, no, I'm not accepting this kind of bullshit because I can see that that's not gold. It's shit and you painted it gold, but it smells awful and I don't want it. I don't want your offer. And like, some of you letting go of an Aquarius for sure, but this is like a deep old program that we're releasing. This is deep old subconscious energies related to lack, related to scarcity, related to childhood issues or trauma or family dynamics that were out of whack. And like, I feel like you're being asked to just invite in more healing. You're being asked to just invite in more emotional balance. You're being asked to invite in more people who understand you and they wanna support you so you can support them. And it's this equal exchange because that is more harmonious. But what you've been doing up until now has been like accepting offers, you know you're worth more than that, but you just, you accept it. Or other people who don't have their, um, they don't know what they want. They don't know who they are and they kind of influence you and then you get confused and you end up adapting to match them, but they're never gonna be happy anyways. So why are you not happy trying to match these people when even when you match them, they are still not happy? It's like, it's a waste of energy. It's a waste of time. It's a waste of emotion. So I really feel like you're being asked to just say, okay, I am ready to accept new relationships. I am ready to accept new people in my life who understand my vision, who want to support me and who will give back when I provide. And like, we're over it. We're over the bullshit offers. We don't want the bullshit excuses. It's like, we're just done. So you got to be really careful with who you're um, deciding to socialize with because I think Maybe you need to establish new boundaries, rules, and ask for new replacement friends. Ask for new connections, okay? Click on the link in my bio. Go take the Pisces New Moon Workshop. I love you. I will see you sometime soon, okay? Bye.